I did it. Okay. Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spain today. It is indeed. It's Sunday. Sunday, September 8th, 2024. And it is day 252. <laughs> and uh, it's safe to say that my side is... The gesture decided to come back with a vengeance today. It's mostly on the right side of my sinus, so my f on the right side of my face is just... It's really, really uncomfortable right now. Uh, the more I talk, the more I um, feel more adjusted. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take it easy. I know here really soon I gotta work on making dinner for everyone. They're gonna be having chicken double-decker tacos. And what's cool about that is I have a gallon of oil in a giant pot so I can fry up. Uh, I, I do to fry up the, the corn tortilla shells myself. I like doing that. And I haven't been able to do that for like a year. So it, it does feel pretty nice to... Um, it, it feels nice to... Um, to fry the tortillas myself. I, I actually prefer the home fried tortillas or corn tortillas over the store box stuff. But I, like I said, I haven't been able to do it for a year because I needed to get a new plot. It still means what I've done using the plot. Oh, where am I gonna put? Oh. But water come only in. Uh, she was doing the solution three. Big run, which is, you know, the, the big salmon run event. Because from what we heard, from what we heard, uh, this should be the last big run of Splatoon 3. And I think that the weekend is supposed to be the, the grand Splatfest. And I think they said that next week's Splatfest is supposed to be the last one of Splatoon 3 as well. So it does look like... Splatoon 3 is do is about done with its life cycle, or, you know, its live service run. And, excuse me, I'm really dusted. But, she's getting, she was getting what video game time she can out of the way now. Because on, uh, on weeknights and weekdays when it comes to school we don't let her play video games or mess with her tablet because oh uh, mainly last year where it distracted her too much from her school and it caused her to have uh attitude problems at school so we took it away as a precaution to where she's only allowed to use video games and her tablet on non-school nights and on weekends. If it's a three-day weekend, then yes, she can still get Sunday night and Monday, but it's not a three-day weekend. That was last week. So, and it just as a parental precaution. I know it sounds really weird because I know when I was a kid, I had that my, my parents took the video games away during weekdays too. Wait, uh, especially in junior high is when I had my computer taken away during weekdays. But then eventually, you know, things kind of go out the window when computers are kind of required for your schoolwork. But she's not at that point right now. She's only in the fourth grade. So, yes, we are, we are taking the video games away during the week. And also people like, you. that's so strict. How could you do that? But with good reason. She caused problems last year. And this is keeping her on track with doing her homework, because when she actually brings it home, if I'm not letting her play the video games, she actually gets it done quite quickly without problem. Like, she doesn't have a problem getting her homeworks done because she doesn't have to worry about whether or not she's going to get to play games that day. She already knows that she's not going to get it till the, till the weekend. But if she gets the homework done, she can at least go outside and burn off some energy before the nighttime comes around. And it's been a decision process so far. And I'd like, I definitely like to keep e efficiency and uh, behavior in check because last year, I don't want repeats of last year. Last year was uh, in terms of behavior and uh, schoolwork consistency was not good. 
And that's why she got those take her away last year, and it's gonna stay that way this year. I have to be the strict parent. And, and my parents were strict with me. And in some ways, they should have been more strict in certain areas. In some areas, they sh should have at least given me some degree of trust. But that's a whole different story. Well, I turned out okay. I mean, I want to say I think I turned out that okay. Did I turn out okay? Yeah, I'd say I did. But anyway, I, I know uh, eventually Sweet Bee's gonna have the same thing. I think it would be fair to make sure that Sweet Bee stopped playing on the video game system when her sister's home from school. Just to be fair, so on school nights, I maybe I should take it away from Sweet Bee too. Just to make sure that we're being fair. I be I believe in fairness between the kids. And, but I'll, I'll take that one up with Lily and see what she thinks. Of course, there is the issue right now where Sweet Pea's absolutely determined. She has some weird, weird determination to absolutely destroy. I mean, absolutely destroy Lilia's Animal Crossing Island. And she's... And I can't stop her from destroying that island. I've, I have definitely tried to stop her. It didn't work. But... I know, uh, did I talk about, yeah, I talked about the tacos. I, I'm just looking forward to making some of those all fried shells again. And uh, yeah, I, I'm like super stuffy. So I don't plan on, you know, staying in here for a really long time because I, I, um, the more I talk, the more congested I get. So if I can take a break from this, that'd be great. Tara and I are definitely hoping to go back to some, uh, normal sea tomorrow. I mean, I th we thought we were starting to feel better yesterday. And then we woke up this morning and it was just absolutely destroying the right side of our face. And we were super, super dehydrated. I think we got, like, over-congested last night while we were sleeping. Which, by the way, sleep was awful last night. We slept terribly. But I think we had to, like, you know, do the whole, ah, uh, ah, uh, open mouth sleeping. Because we were too congested, so we woke up and it felt like we just stuffed our mouths with, like, sandpaper. It was so dry, and I, and I like, almost panicked, trying to find the nearest thing of water to drink. I think I needed something to lap this in my mouth just to soak it up even more. It was so dry. It was awful. So I'm glad to be hydrating right now. I've got... Well, I have a rock star here because I've, I was craving a rock star. And Tara... Tara wanted to have some sun tea. So we made sun tea last night and it's like, it's really mild. He got the sun tea out there too late last night, so it didn't really cook in the sun as efficiently. So it's like a really, really mild, mild iced tea. And maybe it's the brand of tea, because he, when it comes to making sun tea or just having iced tea, your stars make me give with red diamond. And they have no red diamond tea packets. At the store right now, he's tried for the past two months and has not seen any red diamond tea. Like, they're completely out. What are we supposed to do without our red diamond tea? We have this weird off brand from Dollar General. This stuff's like super watery. It's like they use like, maybe they fill it up with like used tea packets or something for this brand. It's so, so vile. But at least it's hydrating enough. So, there is that. Ugh. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stop it here with the, um, the whole recording stuff, because I, I'm so stuffed up right now. I need to work on dinner here really, really soon. And, oh, uh, I'm just, oh, uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to play some more Starfield, uh, in between making dinner, because I've gotta do the check and it's gonna take at least, like, 30 minutes. So, I want everyone to enjoy their Sunday. It's been... It's been kind of bleh. To be expected. 
Yeah, it's Sunday, September 8th, 2024. I want everyone to enjoy their weekend, and we will see everyone tomorrow. See you, see you around, everyone. Bye.